Jellyfish is Tracy and today I'm going to be doing a video talking about my thoughts on Unstable, which by the time you're seeing this video, the set has already come out. It comes out this um, last last weekend, I should say. And um, I wasn't honestly going to do a video on it, but uh, what ended up happening is um, on Facebook, I like the Magic the Gathering page and I liked past tense MTG Goldfish. And what ended up happening with um, with the set is that, you know, they kept releasing spoilers, which like, I understand like why they're doing that. They're like trying to hype up the set. And I think what ended up happening is normally when a normal set comes out, like literally any other set in the world except for unsets, I get super excited because my mentality with these sets is I'm so excited to from from my perspective, just because I'm an EDH player, I'm super excited to see what cards are usable for EDH. I'm very excited to see if there are any sweet rem reprints, anything that I'm like so stoked that like I get to like get my hands on. And I think what's cool about that is like I'm sure standard players have the mentality when you know new sets come out because like okay like what's the usability in standard? Modern I feel like in Legacy you know it kind of like picks and choose you know there tends to be like a handful of cards picked out for the formats. But I think my ultimate frustration, I would say, with the onsets is I don't think they have usability for me. Um, I think I kind of look at the cards and I'm like, how oh, that's funny, but I don't see beyond that how on earth I, as an EDH player, am I supposed to use these cards? Now, I know there's some people who build like an undeck and they put all these funny cards in there. And to me, again, I have that, haha, that's great for three seconds. And then I'm over it. And I'm like, this is to me just a waste of time. Like I got so frustrated with it. Like I, un I unfollowed on Facebook MTG Goldfish because I was so sick of seeing all these cards. I'm just like, I don't, care like I just don't understand I'm like I understand if they wanted to make like 50 cards or something like that and they wanted to be like haha like whatever but like no like they want this to be like a drafting set and there's like 216 cards in this and I'm just like why are there why are we like wasting so much of our time and like print production and all that sort of stuff on something that like I don't understand like the good per I feel like a good percentage of magic players like don't use like again like I'll see some cards and I'm like okay cool like it's not like I'm gonna see these in my EDH play group it's not like people are gonna be at least people that I know aren't gonna be picking up these packs like I just don't understand like the hype and the excitement I just don't really understand the purpose and the necessity of this again other than being like that's funny but again I, I to me that humor doesn't like laugh it doesn't I'm sorry it doesn't like extend like I don't understand what the purpose is beyond that um but twisting this on a positive note, something that I do give credit for for the unsets is they have really beautiful full art lands. And I am, that is the only thing I'm looking forward into the set is I'm really excited for these full art lands. I think they're probably, I think the most beautiful um, that I've seen. I'm gonna like put some pictures up here so you can like see them. But I think these are probably my favorite um, lands that I think I've seen. I think my favorite's probably the swamp. Like now that I'm looking at them like as a whole, but the island, like I'm so in love with these and I'm very curious to see like about the price point of these. Um just because I I I really want to get my hands on them. And I know I feel like the ones from the last onset were pretty expensive lands for kind of what they were. So I'm hoping that these are not too bad. I should probably actually look this up. I'm gonna I'm really curious to like see the price on these just because I'm you know I'm like curious, but I don't even know like how to look this up. Unstable full arts lands TCG player. Just because I, I use TCG player. I've used TCG player for like years and I love it. Um totally not sponsored by them, but it'd be cool because I really love them. Oh, okay, no, the price is significantly less than I thought. I mean that's still kind of a lot, like six dollars for like a land, or that's kind of a lot. Um, I did type in unstabled, but it's nothing is showing up right now in TCG player, so I don't know how much they are, but um, yeah, this was just kind of a quick video. I didn't really want to like go on about it, but yeah, let me know what you guys think about the unsets. Um, I'm totally, I, I wouldn't even say indifferent. I'm kind of just mad because I feel like it's just like a total waste of time. I feel like I'm being super negative about the set and like I wish that I could find like some fun and some enjoyment, but I was just so sad. I can't even express why. Like, again, I just think it's the usability and how I don't think there is usability in it. And I don't understand what I'm supposed to do with all these cards, except for point and laugh because they're silly. Like, I don't get it. So, 
Um, yeah, if you guys are looking forward to the set, um, let me know what you guys also think about the Full Art Lands, because I think, again, they're probably just easily my favorite part and the best thing in this set, to be completely honest. Um, I definitely will like would like to be picking these up, because my goal is to kind of all to like change all of the lands and all my EDH deck or, and modern and stuff too to be full arts. That's kind of like my goal. So yeah, but that is it. I will see you guys in my next video on Thursday.